Hi, my name is Braden Cease. I'm a senior in high school and a part of the youth group uh, on the student leadership team. And today I'm going to be sharing with you guys something I've read in the Word, something that really stood out to me, um, something that is very important to think about at a time like this. Um, so to start us off, I'll be reading in James uh, chapter 1, verses 19 through 21. My dear brothers, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. For man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and evil that is so prevalent, and humbly expect, accept the word that is planted in you, which can save you. So I think this verse is really important um, at a time like this, because right now we're all cooped up in home with, all, with our families all day, every day. And when you're around people a lot, there, there are plenty of times when you can become frustrated with one another, um, when you can become slow to listen and quick to speak and quick to become angry, and when tensions arise between you and your family members, when you've been around each other all day, every day, something that we're not really used to but has been happening a lot for the past couple months as a result of the virus. And so I just think it's important that we all take to heart the words that we, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. It's, it's very, very important to listen to one another and to speak with each other because we are, we are families. We are, we are supposed to love each other. <laughs> and we're supposed to, we're supposed to be able to have a special relationship that you can't really have with anyone outside your family besides when you become you know an adult and have your own family but i just think um as far as the second part goes uh for man's anger does not bring about the righteous life that god desires anger is something that is so prevalent especially in my own life i can be pretty quick to become angry and that kind of anger as it says here is just it's not what God desires for us. It's not the kind of lifestyle that we should be living as Christians, even though it's really easy to become angry. Um, very easy, and quite honestly, when you get angry, it's usually because you feel wronged in some way, and you seek to have justice. Um, you, want, you want the reconciliation, but if you're angry, it's gonna be a lot harder to achieve that reconciliation with the other person, because you're, you might end up being quick to speak and slow to listen. And it's just very, it's very easy to become angry. It's very important to think before we act and to really just take a deep breath sometimes and pray and remember that being angry, and with, especially with our family, is not something that God wants from us. It's not something we should focus on. Um, and for the last part of the, the reading, Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and evil that is so prevalent, um, and humbly expect the word to plant in you. Um, yeah, that's, there's a lot there. Um, it is very important that we put away, put away sin in our lives, and that sin can often be anger or even the lust for vengeance, which when somebody, when somebody gets you upset, it can be very easy to want to hurt them back especially if they hurt you but we need to as christians if the word is planted in us and has saved us we need to put away that kind of sin and we need to move forward um, so to finish this off i think i'll just pray real quick dear heavenly father lord i thank you for this day lord i thank you that many of us can have time to spend with our families lord and that we can grow closer to one another hopefully as a uh, small silver lining of this this quarantine lord um, i pray for all those out there who can who are frustrated with their families or or with someone within their family if there's any tensions lord i pray that you'll ease those tensions i pray that you'll help us all to continue to put away the moral filth <laughs> and the sin in our lives and to focus on you and make you a priority in our lives lord and i pray uh that everyone here will continue to stay safe during a time like this and will continue to think about you as a priority in their life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you.